Welcome to a brand new episode of the Doan Juice Podcast. I'm Doa. I'm Deez. And this is our NBA Talk, episode two. Episode two, baby. I'm saying we're going to throw you out some of this NBA love, knowledge, yeah. stuff like that. All right. We're going to hit you in the head, do the episode, we're going to hit you in the head with the um, Southern versus Warriors talk, mm-hmm. Kyrie Irving, Tom Buddy, um, surgery. surgery. The mother's cousin went down with, his, um, with the injury. Uh-huh. All star picks. And, um, and the NBA, NBA game with gambling. NBA right. won one. Send the game. So let's get it. We gonna stop the Warriors. All right. So the Warriors last night they played the Celtics. It was a bomb burner. You know what I'm saying? Saturday night. Saturday <laughs> night live. You know what I'm saying? I watched the third quarter. I didn't watch the whole game, but um, I watched the highlights. I watched the basic full game. I watched the fourth quarter. Um, Golden State won 109 to 105. Uh, Steph Curry, you know, he had what 40? Let's see, he had 40. 48, 49, 49 points. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Kyrie had 37. It was a good game. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was like back and forth and stuff like that going on out it's there. It's crazy that watching the game, right? Uh, I think Brad Stevenson, mm-hmm. like the, his last three trips at um, Oracle, he's two and one. Like, he got like the best record. Yeah, yeah, good. And I, like, I'm watching the game, right? Like, I know Golden State the best team in the league, mm-hmm. but one the Celtics could play them good. Yeah, yeah. Even even before, like a couple years back, like, I think the Celtics, was the Celtics the one that knocked them off when they had that main street? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or was it the Bucks? It was one of them. The Bucks would be a Bucks. Was, but, but, but they they, was, they had a tough game against the Celtics That's, before. Yeah. The Celtics always played them tough. So I'm like, maybe it didn't, if the Celtics get to the finals, they can make, maybe go six or seven. You know what I'm saying? Maybe so. You know, Brad Stevens is a great coach. And, you know, right. I definitely think he comes up with good you know, plans against the tech, their um, defense, stuff like that. But Kyrie Irving was making shots last night. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I peeped him. He was five or six from three point range. He was 13 from 18 from the field. And he was, he was out there. You know, no, he saying? made one three pointer, like, just squared up. Dude hit the ball, he still made it. Yeah. One shot, though, that's crazy. Like, they, they didn't call it the travel, and, and people on TV said it was a good move, but he went to the hole, he dribbled, took two two steps, right? Mm-hmm. But his last step, he, like, kind of, like, froze a little bit, and he put it up and made it, but they didn't call it travel. It seemed like it was a travel. Because like, he, like, he was, like, in between steps, but he, like, stopped. But the other foot didn't come down. It just seemed like it was a travel. They didn't call it a travel, though. Yeah, between him and Jalen Brown, Jalen Brown was three for four for three point range. So you already saying they eight for them between them two, they eight for ten. So they shoot eighty percent for three point range. You're gonna be in the game. Yeah, right. it, it was like I, when I was watching, it was like Golden State couldn't pull away. Right. You know what I'm like, like, like they had a lead, but Boston was like, "Nah, y'all gonna stay here." And it, it, it was a tight game, and they were saying the pulled, pulled away at the end. Yeah, so you gotta think about it. Steph Curry. Like I said, it was eight for thirteen for three point range, sixteen for twenty four from the field. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, he, had, he was his night. But this is what I say about Golden State having that monster. It's a monster squad because <laughs> you look at KD, one for five from three point range, seven for 18. Clay Thompson, Mr. All Star, that people want to argue me <laughs> about that he's better than Paul George. I still don't believe it. He's three for 12, 0 for four for three point range. Right. Like, come on now. Like, I don't want to hear it. Like, these guys are stacked, and this is why you have a team like that. Right. They're one bad injury away from being just like everybody else. <laughs> for real, they are, man. Right. Look, anybody that's. It, even Draymond, didn't need Draymond for his defense and stuff like that. And you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And his energy and his leadership and stuff like that. So, the, again, they, they're the healthiest team. God bless them. I'll never want to see anybody get hurt. But don't, you know, Clay Thompson, come on, people. Be real. Okay. Clay Thompson here, da 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 da. I'm like, all right, whatever. Right. But it was definitely a back and forth game. Steph Curry definitely came through like the wool, but expectedly. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? Hitting the threes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you, had, you had a mean layup to a hobby the glass. They I mean, came with, uh. Hop the glass. glass. Like I said, he definitely put in put in that work. You know what I'm saying? I got a, it was clutch by Steph. Steph, you already know. He said, hey, look, you know, I've been doing this with you for a while, Kyrie. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Right. You know what I'm saying? So definitely was a good it was a good game. And you know, hope maybe an NFL, uh, NBA pri- um, maybe, maybe. NBA finals pre. Like yeah. like I like, real talk, I, I feel like even though I think the Celtics are gonna make it to the finals, mm-hmm. The Celtics would get Golden State a better match than Cleveland. Yeah. <laughs> I think Golden, um, Boston would be there next year. We'll go to Hayward, come back in the cafe. Oh, yeah. yeah you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. I don't, this year I just don't see it. I, don't, I, don't, I think Cleveland, Cleveland when they, with LeBron serious. Like, I'm exactly. When LeBron, when LeBron is dialed in, mm-hmm. they'll give you 50 with a triple double. Yeah. He like he did against my boys. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He was dialed in. <laughs> LeBron can be dialed in all regular season. Right. But the seven game series, he can be dialed he in. That playoffs, he's gonna say, all right, this is enough. Enough's, enough's enough. Right. All right, we're gonna we're gonna do what we gotta do. All right. So next up, we have uh, Kyrie Irving. You know, <laughs> it been reports this week that he, he threatened Cleveland said, "I'm gonna have surgery if y'all don't trade me." Right. Uh, Cleveland, if that was the case, I'd be like, okay, well, let me know your surgery is. Right. Uh, that's all about. Let me know the surgery is. All right. You still your trade value's not going down. You're gonna come back. And you're gonna play. Mm-hmm. All right. 
But again, you know, it's one of those things where, you know, some people say, oh, he was selfish, or he's not. He, he, look, he could, he could tell you what he's going to do, but right. it's up to you to do it. Right. You know what I'm saying? I just don't believe he had to be traded. Like, who want who to go underneath the knife? Right. You know what I'm saying? He went out. He, oh, I wanted to date. Was it his call or was it his agent call? call? Like, look, tell me you want to go get surgery. Yeah, you know, I think Kyrie's like, well, do, Kyrie's the type of guy to do what you gotta do, give me a bottle. Right, give me, give me, I'm, I'm done out there, give me yeah. a bottle there. LeBron signed off on this, he don't want me here, so I don't want to be there. Yeah, right. LeBron trying to do secret trades. Yeah, LeBron <laughs> trying to secret trade me. Alright, <laughs> right. so I'm out, you know what I'm saying? And, and I think he's, he's mentally, he was gone. He said, yo, do what you gotta do, I'm out of here. <laughs> and they probably like, well, we, you know, if we trade, well, you don't have to trade me, I'm, I'm not gonna play. I'm gonna get this surgery. I'm gonna relax. You know what I'm saying I'm gonna take my time. Get coming back. Until until this day, I I I, I said it before. Yo, I'd have kept Kyrie on and let Braun walk. Sometimes, <laughs> but for real, yo, cause like the Braun probably gonna walk anyway. Yeah. You got Kyrie Irving. You got Kevin Love. You know what I'm saying? You can build in the, in the yeah, in the Eastern Conference. You can build around. You know what I'm saying? Like you would be like yo, Braun is on the only way out. You're not you're not beating Golden State. Mm hmm. You know what I'm saying? And you can already see it this year. They, they got all them old dudes that are struggling. And you can you can trade away some of those pieces. You know what I'm saying? Right. All them old guys. That, right. The only thing, the only, you know, you just gotta start trading away stuff. You gotta say, yeah. you know. Then they trade. Then they trade into Boston, <laughs> which is crazy. You know what I'm saying? In the same for, same um, for, same conference. For Isaiah Thomas and the, the Nets pick. Basically the Nets pick. Nate, the Nets. Nate, Nets. I don't picture. I don't get I don't, I don't see Isaiah Thomas on that team next year. I don't right. see Isaiah Thomas playing with LeBron James next year. Right. It's like the numbers don't match. Right. You know what I'm if you watch any of these games, I see you with Isaiah Taylor, Thomas is on the court. It's not. It doesn't look good. And I said I said that too. I was like, like Isaiah is good and all, but he's more. He need the ball in his hand. Right. Like Kyrie Irving need the ball in his hand, but Kyrie Irving is the better spot up shooter. He can right. he can he, he need the ball in his hand or he can spot up. I think Isaiah Thomas. You really don't see Isaiah Thomas spotting up shooting that often. Right. He know he got the rock size you up and then score. Right. You know what I'm saying <laughs> he's gonna do what he's got to do. You know what I'm saying? But I just don't feel like. It's, and his defense is horrible. You know what right. Saying? So and I like I say he, he's really gonna like. They talking about trading for um, George Hill, and his defense is terrible too. <laughs> well, if I was talking about, I'll do it fast, quick, fast, in a hurry. I would do it quick and fast in a hurry. But I don't know who they, who they I don't know who they trading they trading for. Who they want trade? I forgot who was, who they want trade. I think it was like Chandler, Chandler Fry, Fry and somebody else. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll do it. Give, give me from that George Hill contract. That Dutch name gonna be no good. Right. All right. So um, next up, we have our boy uh, Andre Robeson. Andre, Andre Robeson and Demarcus, and Demarcus Cousins. Cousins. They basically went down with Achilles injuries. Right. Um, anybody know those things? They say when it happens, you you don't like you don't know what happened until you try to get up and walk on it. You right. Because right. then you realize, like, oh, I can't get up. Right. You know what I'm saying? A rover, so you could tell he knew from Jump Street. Right. He was on his stomach and he slid and he's like, oh, no, nah, I ain't moving. Yeah. And then um, Demarcus, his was weird because he missed the free throw. Tries to go t tap it out, doing that. Make the free throw, you know, stuff happens. But, you know, he's, he lands on his Achilles. Right. He goes down. You can tell he tried to get up. And then, uh, Achilles said, nah, bro. Yeah, it, um, I was reading somewhere, like, they say his menace is at the highest it's ever been in his career. Mm -hmm. And, um, like they just minute they had the overtime game, you'll pay like forty something minutes yeah. that game. So they say a lot they say a lot of times Fatigue. if it's if you wanna go check it out, it was a bleacher report uh, article about that. Like a lot of the time the um Achilles injury happened in the second half. And I mean, I'm not an NBA player, mm -hmm. but I almost had Achilles. I caught the ball, all I did was jab step. Mm -hmm. I felt the knot of my Achilles. Mm -hmm. I thought my joint was pop like and that, that probably was like I was like one one move away from <laughs> my shit. Terry, excuse my language. My drink uh, pop me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, no last play to good in the door. Caught the ball, jab step. I felt the knot, and I'm like, yo, get me out of the game. Get me out the game. And I, and I was playing too much basketball at that time, so yeah. need to do it for yeah. a living. <laughs> the funny thing about this, Kobe tore his Achilles. Right. And it played. Right. He shot the free throw and walked. Right. And walked. Everybody, remember, that's why I can say Kobe's a he's a bad mother. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like he walked off the court like okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody else is, oh, I'm dying. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? So I, I give him his prize. But DeMarcus Cousins, they were playing good, man. Right. Like, both teams, you know, OKC, right. they, with Robeson on the court with Paul George, 
their defensive rating is like number one in the league. Right. You know what I'm saying? If you go individually, man by man, their defense is great. And DeMarcus Cousins, they were 8-2 in the last 10, they won four in a row, and they succeed. One game behind o right. um, OKC, and a couple games, maybe two games behind Minnesota, and a couple games behind San Antonio. So, you know, it was rolling. And they say one thing about like big men, they say it's kind of harder for big men because mm -hmm. they got all that weight and all that come back from these injuries. Yeah, you already know. And it's DeMarcus Cousins' free agent. Right. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? He, he's going to get the match. Still get the match. Yeah, Pelicans can't just let him go, you know. They, <laughs> so you know he's gonna get the max. Everybody, he, the Wizards will give him the max, and like he's gonna get his money. Get his money. He's not a, a fringe player. You go, uh, I don't know. You know he's gonna get his money, but I'm just saying it's, it's crazy, you know, that that happens. But it's crazy, like like Will Chamberlain and them used to play every minute, every game. Yeah. Like what's what, what's happening, y'all, with the league? What's happening with, with sports? Yo, these injuries, yo. He played. I think one season he played every minute of every game. But did them guys practice? That these guys practice year round and stuff like that. These dudes ain't practicing either. Yeah, you never know. They train. They, they, train said they, they train, but they're talking about like during the season. They're not really practicing I like know, that. No, but they they train. All these dudes on private jets. Yeah. All that, but this, Will, saying, you know, Will Chamber probably like Will Chamber. Come on. Now. You know what I'm saying? Everybody will play every minute of every game. Yeah. Okay. That's all he probably was doing. <laughs> he probably wasn't practicing that hard because you know he was better than everybody. He damn sure wasn't practicing that hard. He, he did a couple individual workouts. Wasn't right. lifting weights like that. He was better than you. You know what I'm right. saying? So, it's actually back in the day, you know, but guys had injuries, had injuries no matter what, you know what I'm saying? It's right. like, back in the day, them, them dudes smoking cigarettes <laughs> at halftime, drinking beers, so, you know, it's not like, but I still feel like, injuries back then, you gotta think, there was some injuries back then that, uh, ACL, you was dumb. Dumb for career. Your career was done, you know what I'm saying? So, that's the difference, it's like, oh yeah, the guys get injured in here now more, but look at Paul George injury. That would end his career back in the day. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Tight hit us. Good yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. So, you know, Sean Livingston, guys like that. Right. So, it's like, yeah, now, you know, injuries are more, you know, frequent and stuff like that. Right. But back in the day, they probably had injuries. Your career was over when that, that happened. Or you, you lost a lot of athleticism. Right. You know what I'm saying? But I just feel like, yo, nah. People yeah. were saying maybe because, like, you know, like, we wearing them compression shorts and compressions are like it's, 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 um, it's restricting our stuff, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The different shoes, they, they, a lot of people say that might be the reason why. Mm -hmm. But a lot of injuries in a lot of sports. Converse, man. Huh? Dudes are hooping the Converse, come on, man. <laughs> but dudes, like, dudes are hooping the Converse, man. <laughs> you, know what you we we worked in Converse back at the stadium. You know what I'm saying? Your feet would be on fire. Right, just right. standing there. That hoop and just standing. <laughs> that's, that's how you know they're great athletes, though. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Who would it call? Anybody know if you ever play basketball some Converse, <laughs> you know damn well how your feet hurt. All right, so I would hear that. You know what I'm right. saying? So you know, hey, look, these guys. It's, it's a new league. It's new. You know, everything is you know over micro You know, yeah. everything you know micro manners. So they, you know, it is what it is. Yeah. Right. Hope, hopefully, we hope the market is gonna say get back, get better soon, and go get that money. Yeah, I think I think he'll be. He, gonna, he definitely get his money. Yeah. He's going to get his money, but you know, he was having, but he was having. A great season, monster like season. a monster season. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. But you know, everybody laugh at Philly because Philly does what they do. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Making guys not play back to back on Bill Pitt on Bill right, right. restriction. Right. Yeah, right. Now you see now that they really gonna be buckling down yeah. now because yeah. I said it, the the statistics is out there. Like yeah. a lot of the um, Achilles happened in the same. Like you, they, it made me think about like when I do see do Achilles. It always be in the second half or NFL be in the end of the game. Yeah, right. <laughs> Jimmy Smith, Smith with yeah. the end of the game. Yeah. They Steve Smith. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It, it's never the, the beginning of the game. You know what I'm saying? Right. As you do, you Yo. you, get, you coming off that ankle. You mean you coming off doing that, doing that, doing that. When I just yeah. said when I when I had my Achilles injury. Yeah. End of the game. Jab step. Right. <laughs> One minute, like a two minutes left in the game. So that's how it be. So yeah. you know, that's how. I go go ahead and check that article out. So we had the NBA All Star yes. picks. Yeah, All Star. So Team LeBron has. DeMarcus Cousins, but now Paul George, AD, uh, KD, Kyrie, LaMarcus, Aldridge, Bradley Bill, Kevin Love, Victor O.D. Bill, Christoph Pazingas, John Wall, and Russell Westbrook. Steph Curry has Giannis, uh, DeMar DeRozan, Joel Embiid, James Harden, Jimmy Butler, Jamal Green, Al Harper, Damian Lillard, um, Kyle Lowry, Clay, Tom um, Clay Thompson, and Carl Anthony Towns. Right, so if y'all don't know, I heard, um, I know the order of the draft picks yeah. for uh, for the so, starters. Uh, uh, so, Braun picked KD with the first pick, mm -hmm. Steph picked Giannis, right. then Braun picked AD, mm -hmm. then Steph picked James Harden, mm -hmm. Braun picked Boogie, mm -hmm. then um, um, Steph picked um, Joel Embiid, mm -hmm. Braun picked Kyrie Irving, and then um, 
Go pick them up. We all need DeMar DeRozan to be last. Be last. Yeah. See, it, it's like them picks are almost similar how I was. Mm -hmm. Except for LeBron went for the best dudes. And like when I picked, when I was picking last week, mm -hmm. I picked like the shooters. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. I picked James Harden. You picked um, AD or whatever. Yeah. AD. You saying? It's a solid. It's, it's a solid star five. It's just like if I was Bron, Bron probably, mm -hmm. I probably wouldn't have picked KD. Mm -hmm. Just on the strip of like yo, like we the best two players in the league. I know Steph Curry got the book, the best book, but like right. I sort of want to play against the best dude. Yeah, not LeBron. LeBron. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, LeBron want, like, LeBron want to win. Yeah. And, and, and you have friendships, whatever, yeah. and play with the dude in the All-Star game, but I'd be like, 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 now, if I was say it was like a pickup game, and I, I want, I want to keep on winning, yeah. I'm going to pick the best dude, but if it's a pickup game, and, and I'm the best player, and I know we can, we're going to keep on running, I'm not going to pick the other best player, I'm, I'm going to let the other best player go on the other team. Sure. Then if that other person don't want to pick it, I'm going to pick you up in that therapy. So they <laughs> say Michael Jordan wanted to pick it. Oh, they said Michael Jordan. They, they was oh yeah. I was just somebody that said that Michael Jordan definitely would have picked the second best player. Nah. So who was the second best when Jordan was in the league? Depends on what year. Yeah. Depends on the years, man. You know, early Jordan had Magic and Larry. like like. All right, let's say when Jordan and Pitt came Elijah one. Well, so who they playing in the finals? Like Barkley and them dudes. What they picking them dudes? Depends. You know, you know Michael. Michael. Try to sweeten your ass up, <laughs> just to whoop your ass in the final. You know what I'm saying? But if he didn't like you, he wouldn't pick you. Isaiah Thomas. Right, that's the league. Yeah, so some people ain't picking, you know what I'm saying? So, and I didn't even know at uh, the time no, I had. I just pick up Scotty. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a bitch with my own players. Yeah. I didn't know. See, I didn't know that the, 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 the LeBron they picked the reserves too. Mm. I didn't know. And Clay Thompson yeah. was the first reserve pick. That's all we know so far. Yeah, so you know, Clay Thompson was the first reserve, so I know LeBron picked Russ. Yeah. Yeah. True. <laughs> That's guaranteed. Yeah. No LeBron.